So, a little bit of a quiz. <laughs> what does Gamba mean? Let's, take, let's do it as a group because Dave talked about teamwork. So raise your hand if you think that Gamba is a form of dance that's popular in the Caribbean. Anyone? Okay. No? Does anyone think that Gamba means the place where work gets done? Okay, good for you. Does anyone think that Gamba means continuous improvement? Okay, a couple of people. I saw a couple of hands. What if, does anyone think it's a lizard in South America? What's the name of that lizard on the TV commercial? Ge Gecko! Sorry, that's probably what I was thinking of. Okay. So the right answer is the place where work is done. So it's a Japanese term. It actually really means kind of the place where stuff happens, right? And if you were in Japan and watching the news and the anchor went to, you know, a, a reporter working in the field covering a story, maybe there'd been a car accident or a fire or a shooting, they would say that that reporter is in the gamba because they're in the place where the, the stuff actually happened. But it can also apply in the workplace, to the place where work gets done. And I like the word because it's just, there's so many different workplaces. For some of you, it's your department, an inpatient unit. Um, it might be the kitchen, it might be the operating room. Um, so there's lots of different things, and I think that that short little word just sort of captures it all. Um, so Gemba means the place where work is done. And we know uh, from looking at successful organizations all around the world that um, leadership really needs to be in the Gemba. We can't lead effectively from our offices behind our computer screens. We have to do a bit of that, of course, but the more time we spend in the Gemba, where our staff are, where the patients are, where our customers are, the more effective we'll be as an organization. And that's what um, this whole idea of teamwork is all about. So what we've done at Root Valley is we are bringing Gemba time to Root Valley. So what does that mean? Well, it means that there's going to be a set time every day when we can all um, work without having meetings to worry about and meetings to go to. And we're all going to have the same dedicated time of day to spend in the Gemba with staff, with physicians, working as a team. Okay? And the time that we've come up with is from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every morning. So. Uh, why do we even need that? I think this is a really good example of how we've been listening and trying to respond to some of the concerns that we've heard from managers and staff. We've heard for a long time that we have too many meetings, that people feel really swamped, uh, they, they're invited to, to so many meetings that it really does take away from some of the things they might rather be doing, like coaching and their staff and working um, on the unit, on improvement activities and, and working on, on lean. So meetings have been a bit of a, a distraction and a deterrent and a barrier. And we know, like I said, from the literature, that leadership attention and really engaging staff in um, making improvement is going to be the key to our success going forward. That's why we felt we needed Gemba time. So what does that mean? What's going to happen in Gemba time? And the reason we're calling it Gemba time and not meeting free zone, which is what some uh, places have called it, is that the idea is not so much that it's a meeting free zone, but we really want people to be spending that time in the Gemba. So it's not like you don't have meetings so you can close your office door and get, get through all those emails that have been piling up. That's not the intent of how this time is to be used. So some examples of how um, the time is to be used, we could call them the six C's, but coaching and teaching. So teaching staff about um, how we make improvement, how we solve problems, um, understanding some of the challenges and working through them. Uh, creative problem solving. Daily continuous improvement. Not all improvement has to be a big, huge um, event. It doesn't all have to be a big study or a, a big Kaizen event. You can actually get really far by making small little improvements every single day and getting ideas from our staff on what kinds of improvements they would like to see. So that's a really important thing that uh, managers and, and directors can do when they're in the Gemba. Uh, collaborating to understand uh, real-time issues that you're dealing with. It might be around flow, it might be about being short-staffed today, and really engaging the staff and figuring out with you. Uh, we, we're trying to get away from the traditional role of leaders, which was more sort of command and control, and everyone thought you knew all the answers to every question, and, you, and leaders felt they had to solve the problem. Um, that's not really the case. 
the um, most effective leaders are the ones that can inspire others to solve the problems and to come up with ideas. So we want the leaders to be there asking the right questions so that staff can come up with solutions. It's also a chance to communicate important information. So leverage those champions that we have in a number of departments. Find out what information needs to be shared, what's going on at the corporate level, what's new and exciting, and, um, and share it with staff. And also celebrate the successes. Um, you know, if you've performed really well and made a big change in something that um, had been a frustration or something that was challenging the department, celebrate that you've made a bit of improvement recognize specific staff members. So those are examples of some of the things that we would expect to be going on in this two hour uh, dedicated Gamba time. Uh, there is gonna be an email coming out from the CEO uh, very shortly um, explaining this in, in more detail so that everyone knows. And we hope that at the end of the day, this really leads to better engagement, higher morale, uh, better quality care and a, and a better patient experience and really creating a culture. And this gets to the point about why people work here. Culture is everything. And we want to create a culture where it's a learning environment, where we're always improving. We never get to sit back and say, we're done, we're the best. We can stop improving now. We're continuously improving and always looking for ways to innovate and, and be better. So that's what we're uh, introducing. This